Tracy Whitney is a national treasure in the world of jazz. With a career spanning over six decades, Whitney remains a powerful presence, both as a musician and an entrepreneur. Tonight, we delve into her beginnings, her upcoming projects, and what it's like to be a part of the jazz scene in New Mexico. Tracy, thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this one. I've known you for so long and I've never gotten to sit down and pick your brain about the history of... It sounds painful. I know. <laughs> But I mean, like, w when there are people that are like, have made music their life, like, yes, that is you. So yeah. how I want, that's where I want to start. It's like, how did it begin? First of all, Teresa, thank you for having me. <laughs> and how it all began was, um, I was 11 years old. My brothers and I were rehearsing downstairs while my mother, aunt and uncle were rehearsing upstairs and during the time of the Jackson 5. And my mother stopped her brother and sister and said, are those my children? Because wow. we, we were like, everybody wanted to be a singing group mm -hmm. back then. <laughs> and so that's how it started. And I've been performing nonstop since I was 11 years old. My goodness. So yeah. obviously, you just, you know, you're bringing up Motown. What would you say are, when you're looking at developing your voice mm -hmm. and your sound, who were those influences and mentors that you turned to? Well, the, the influences first is my mother, who is an amazing singer. I mean, and she toured with... Solomon Burke and um, Johnny Otis and I mean wow. my mom had her own career so she was a phenomenal singer um, actually has an Emmy Award uh, nominated um, song that we all did a soundtrack for a movie for but um, I would say that when I was younger of course my influences were you know the the soul and R&B um, but I I after I stopped singing with my family and I was in my 20s at that point, I really started gravitating toward jazz. Mm -hmm. And um, the incomparable Nancy Wilson was a friend of my family's. And I remember when I was like 16 and we were singing at the Playboy Club in LA and she was like, you know, Trace, you have a voice made for jazz. Wow. You should think of singing jazz. And I was like, and that was it. And it, it was just became the genre that I absolutely connected with. Well, living in New Mexico, I, you know, I think people have an automatic thought of what music is, you know, going to be originated and played mostly here, but it's pretty eclectic. So what is yeah. it like being a jazz singer in New Mexico? Um, actually, the jazz community here is amazing. It is huge. And when I moved here, I thought I was going to have to invent the wheel, you know. I mean, I toured with Ray Charles. I was a Ray Led. Yep. I lived in Japan for five years, gigging over there. You know, had a pretty big career in L.A. and and I moved here, and I'm like, oh man, what's going to happen here? And I was blown away by how much jazz was here, but not just how how much jazz, how inviting the community was. Mm -hmm. It was just like. Come on, the more the merrier. Thank you. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I do have to bring up that your voice has led to you winning <laughs> this year's New Mexico Entertainment Award. You almost thought yeah. I was going to take it away from you. Yeah, I, I did. <laughs> I was holding on to it, girl. So how, how does it feel? It's on my pink piano. Oh, of course. It you is, have a pink piano. you know, front and center <laughs> in my living room. I have a, a 1900s, um, I can't think of the, the name, but an upright, beautiful upright piano that I had custom painted pink and it's sitting right there. Oh, my goodness. Front and center. I, I'm so grateful. <laughs> and, and I was surprised. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm very grateful. Well, for those who have yet to hear your beautiful voice, yeah. What is coming up um, performance-wise where people can check you out? Actually, I've entered into a partnership with Heritage Hotels and Resorts. Um, you know, they own every, everything. Yes, they do. Anyway, <laughs> they, just, <laughs> they just took over the old Monte Vista fire station, and it's now called the Smoky Note. And it is a really sophisticated little uh, cocktail lounge. And um, I'm singing there for them every Wednesday, and then we'll spread out into their other things. Because since I'm now partnering with them on <sighs> opening a jazz club at the beginning of next year. Awesome. Yeah, a, an actual nightclub. 
not a bar, not a brewery, not a restaurant, not a something else that has jazz, but a nightclub. We will be open till midnight. Wow. So we're just, you know, getting ready uh, to do that. And that's going to be in Uptown and super excited about Very that. Very excited about <laughs> that one. So where can people learn more about you, your, your, your background, yeah. what's coming up, all of it? You can go to babydollentertainment.com. <laughs> all things Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tracy, thank you for coming on tonight. It is an honor to sit down and talk thank with you. Thank you for having me. And yes, so thank you so much. And everyone, if you haven't, if you haven't checked her out, you need to. So yeah, every you. Wednesday, six to nine, come on over to the Smoky Note. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> thank you again. Thank you. We'll be back.